lead singer Paul Matiason of uh, Chrome Division and Suspiria, but we're talking about Chrome Division today. Yeah. How are you? I like those shades. Those are like totally cool. Yeah, they're brand new today, actually. Really? Yeah. I call to... them the asshole shades because cops wear them. <laughs> yeah, I um, I have big plans being an asshole on stage today. Nah, no. Nah. Uh, just had to buy new shades because that's part of my stage outfit, and uh, I tend to break these quite often, so I have to buy new ones. So you guys are touring, or not, not exactly touring, but promoting uh, booze, broads, and bez. Belzebub. Yeah, well, Belzebub. <laughs> that album is uh, getting kind of old, so right. we're actually now just pro promoting ourselves okay. because we're in the studio these days and recording a new album. Uh, just resigned with Nuclear Blast, and Ooh. this, this is going to be our fourth album. And we have a really nice permanent, by the way, lineup now who uh, works really well together. So yeah, it's coming along great and starting to do more shows, and which we are not known. To do. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, we got some shows in Germany, Italy coming up, and uh, not to uh, not the least Inferno. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool because I know that you have Suspiria and then Shagraf has Lima Borger. So was this viewed as more of a side project before? And now it's like a bigger focus. Well, this band is almost ten years old now, oh, shit. and uh, it was actually after. A a big year of, uh, I mean, Dimu had lots of activities and long tours and stuff, and they had a long break. And that's when Shagrat decided to fulfill his dreams of, uh, you know, playing in a rock and roll band. Right. <clears throat> Go somewhere else and, and create another band, totally different from his other endeavors. So, yeah, that's how this idea was spawned. And um, it started, of course, as a side project, but over the years it has, you know, Lost some members, gained some members, and back and forth. And but it's been molded into what it is today. And today it's a full, worthy band. You know, it's a full band. It's yeah. not a side project anymore. And um, I mean, uh, we got some time off our other stuff now, so the doors are you know getting wider. It's, it's yeah, we're gonna push this band forward now. Actually, that's good. Now, do you guys have any plans of trying to get into Eurovision? <laughs> Hey, you never know. Come on, I could see you like going out on stage, riding on Harley's. That's if you ride, but you know. Yeah, been there, done that. So I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back there. Um, I mean, it could work, but you know, it's not for us. Yeah, yeah. Did a tour in Brazil. So can we expect to see you in the States anytime soon? Yeah, we talked about this for a year now. We have actually a standing offer through our record company over, over there to, to uh, do a one week at least tour of the west coast you know San Francisco Los Angeles Las Vegas so that's something we have not put down we're gonna continue to work on that but first we need to finish the album and get it out there so uh, when that's all new new and fresh out then it's time to um, pursue these uh, plans now if somebody never listened to Chrome Division which you guys will do after this interview is over you'll go ahead to the website and listen to the stuff and see how cool it is how would you describe the sound well we like to call it doomsday rock and roll and, okay. if, you, and if you can't gather what that term means then um, it's a it's a sweet mix of classic rock hard rock some metal and even stoner influences so um, yeah it's 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 like our sanctuary to go to because we have all these metal bands we have done for 20 years now so this is like our playground our sanctuary where we can go and do some other stuff and it works out brilliantly and because it's our inner passion i mean who doesn't like, like rock and roll you know? now do you think this is this a full-time job um it takes up enormous amount of time and uh, i'm hoping it can become a full-time job i mean um, money wise as well because I'd like to put all of other stuff aside and just go go into focus mode on this you know all full time I would like to be doing uh, voiceover work for, oh. for cartoons um, I've been doing that for some years and uh, yeah that's another passion of mine and uh, I think I would you know do, do that <laughs> well did you do acting before or just voiceover just voice acting oh, that's good it's probably it's like a lot easier you don't have to be like camera ready and all of that. It's so much nicer. It's not easy because uh, you can't be on camera and, and, and do all your, your physical stuff, but you have to do it yeah. in, in the studio to get, you only have this voice you have to put on the screen, but all the emotions have to be there. So you're like standing in the studio and 
screaming, shouting, bending your legs, everything, and it's you sweat and it's totally exhausting, actually. But and there's no camera there. No, no. <laughs> but it looks real funny. <laughs> awesome. Now, what's your thoughts on playing Inferno Festival? Because this is obviously one of the bigger festivals and more, uh, how can I say, traditional festivals in Norway. I've been a part of this festival actually from the very first year. In 2001, I played here with Sperio, and I thought the the general idea of creating a a big festival for actually back then it was only for Norwegian bands but it has grown into something much bigger I thought the, the idea was uh, great and I'm so glad it has lasted now for 13 years you know and um, yeah people come from all over the world so it's, it's something special with the atmosphere on this indoor festival I don't know what it is but it's just it's just something so for Chrome to be here for the first time is yeah we're just looking forward to it I mean where do we fit in with all the black metal bands but it's I'm, a variation yeah, it is, and I think that's uh, it, it's healthy. It's something fresh and alternative for for people. And I mean, we close off the John D stage uh, at midnight, so everybody's going to be shit drunk anyway. So we can be the soundtrack to their party. That's that's a really good way to look at it. Yeah. And speaking of that, who would you say some of your musical influences are? Well, um, I um, I've grown into. Um, Liking more and more uh, stoner rock music, actually. Like, really? I, I, some years ago, I discovered this band, uh, Blackstone Cherry. Yeah. Brilliant uh, guys making uh, really good music, and uh, I've always been a fan of Down. You know, Phil and Selmo, and all of his, all of his voice work in general. But um, and my deepest influences are from the classic 70s, 80s rock music. You know, the, I mean, uh, even Aerosmith. You know, and Deep Purple. Led Zeppelin, White Snake, all those guys, you know. That's what I, you know, I, I'm. I grow, I grew up with this music, you know, so it sticks with me. Not um, playing music or going out mixing and mingling and networking or doing voiceover. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. Okay, no. You want me to uh, come out like a real boring person now? Or what? No. no. Um, Nothing's boring. <clears throat> I tried my best to wake up uh, as early as possible, right, okay. not to you know to not waste the day. Um, the first thing I do is put on my clothes and walk my uh, lovely dog. He's a boxweiler, mixed between a boxer and a rottweiler, and uh, we have a long walk and we go back and both eat breakfast and then I start doing my uh, internet sessions. You know, some professionals. I'm just for fun and um, yeah. I go out and see friends and hang with friends and do stuff. That's on a day off. I mean, my days on are a lot, you know, busier. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think the biggest misconception is to the fans out there about playing in a heavy metal band such as Chrome Division? I don't know. Some some fans are just uh, weird to me because, I mean, you have some of them who follows you whatever you do because they're fans of you, so they appreciate all the things you do, but then you have the hardcore fans of your metal band right. who don't like at all that you do some other stuff. I, I, I don't know why, but you lose some, you gain some. When you start another band with a totally different style, you, you can bring in totally new fans, you know, so I mean, I, I, can't do, I can't do anything about it, you know, I just have to do my stuff, so if they don't want to follow me, then too bad, you know. Now, did your appearance with your other band on that TV show on um, Melody Grand Prix, did it affect or impact Chrome Division in any way? No, it didn't even impact Susperia, so it had really? li it had a very little effect, actually. I mean, oh. we didn't even it didn't even reach the Norwegian finals, you know. It was just just a fun experience. Yeah, so you did it, you know. Yeah, you, now we've I'll done it. I'll want it when you're looking about. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if fans want to actually buy your stuff, your Nuclear Blast records, but what's your official website? Well, um, these days people tend to uh, only focus on Facebook. Yeah. So we have facebook.com slash Chrome Division, which is real active now. And um, I mean, you can find us on the old chromedivision.com. We have some merch links there. So uh, yeah, that's the two main sites. Cool. And do you have any messages for your fans? Chrome Division. Revolution fans. Well, um, I guess I'll see quite a few of you downstairs in like one hour, so I have to go down and unpack my shit. And I'm looking forward to uh, be a part of this great festival finally with uh, 
my band Chrome Division. Don't forget to go to www.chromedivision.com or just Facebook facebook.com forward slash Chrome Division. Exactly. You guys have a really good show. I look forward to seeing you play live. And uh, yeah, keep kicking ass. I'll change this, this into beer now anytime soon. I know, before you go on stage. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys.